What's up guys, it's your boy Rich. So let's go check out some panda goodness with South Baltimore's Constellation Chrono. Let's go. And here's the Constellation Chrono Diver and it's in 41 millimeters, 48 from lug to lug, and it uses a 20 millimeter lug width for either a bracelet or a strap that tapers down to 18 millimeters to the clasp. There are three micro adjustments. And it's a solid case back with a nice engraving back there. And it also reveals the quick release system for the bracelet. So if we don't know who Alan is, Alan is the owner of South Baltimore Watches. And he is based out of Baltimore, Maryland, hence the name South Baltimore. And if we're wondering how he came up with the name of this Constellation model, well, it's named after the USS Constellation ship located at the Baltimore Inner Harbor. The USS Constellation is the last sail-only warship designed and built by the United States Navy in 1853. And it's considered a historic landmark. Did I already know that information beforehand? No, I did not. But I did learn that bit of information from South Baltimore's website, and I do find learning that kind of information fascinating into what inspired the naming of a certain model. So there it is. And I think uh, this is clearly a very angular watch, and I think Alan did a nice job softening the angles with a really nice finishing here. So on a side profile here, uh, it's polished, but we also see on either side of the case, these carved out sections right there. And there is a signed crown. But also on the side there, it, it has a nice polished, and there it is, a nice polished accents around the beveling. So a really nice job softening the look of this watch. And I think we have to start off talking about the colorways. Because this on their website is considered or called white, but really in person it's off-white. And they do make that claim as well on their website that in person it's going to look more off-white. And that's because of the Super Luminova C3 Lum dial. And I actually like this look better because it lends itself more to a vintage look. But it's also available in dark gray, re a reverse panda, green, and blue. And here's the reverse panda that I just mentioned. mentioned. So what do you guys think? The vintage off-white or the reverse panda? I'm still partial to the, the vintage off-white look, but I know there are a lot of fans that are really crazy for the reverse panda. This is on their textile leather strap. And as much as I like the bracelet here, I think it might look really nicely on this, on this leather strap. So we might be wondering or questioning, did I wind this watch? Or more importantly, did I forget to wind this watch? Because we're not seeing the second hand uh, working. Well, I did not forget to wind this watch and that's because this is a Mecha Quartz V64 movement. And that's really a hybrid between a quartz and an automatic movement. So typically in a Mecha Quartz, in this case, the register at nine o'clock, that's where we would see the subtle ticking motion of, of that second hand. And in this case of the register at Three o'clock is it's the 24 hour register and the uh, timer is at 12 o'clock. And that's where we'll see the hybrid part of it or more of the automatic uh, motion. And I'll show you what I mean. So the top pusher here is what will control the timer. So there we go. And we can see it sweeping away, doing its thing, just like any automatic movement would do. Smooth, operating smoothly. And we'll use the top pusher to stop it. And then we'll use the bottom pusher to reset it. So I think uh, South Baltimore actually favored this type of non-second hand moving for us automatic movement fans because some of us I know don't want to see the TikTok motion of the second hand, even though it is really subtle or it would be really subtle there. And for if you're a Quartz fan, I can understand it might be a little off-putting. And for me, it did take me a good two seconds to get used to that. I don't consider that an issue uh, because if we're aware of the battery life of a quartz movement is typically between two to four years on average, uh, then that's really a, a non-issue. But again, I think this is more geared to automatic fans where we're not going to see that doing its thing. Um, again, I think Alan did a really nice job finishing this watch, a really nice, really uh, nicely done. Uh, there isn't anything to really complain about this watch. I used a sapphire crystal, just really nicely done. And if we're fans of audible or really loud Bessel actions, well, we're going to notice that this is really tight. You can see that there's zero play. But let's check out the turn action of the bezel. Here we go.
Again, super tight. It has to be one of the tightest turn actions that I've come across in a really long time. Zero play here. And because of the zero play here, that's going to explain why this may not be as audible as some turn actions that we might be used to. Because if you don't have that little play, which is what causes that the louder clicking sensations that we hear, uh, that explains why this is a little bit on the softer audible sound. But still very enjoyable here. The retail price for the Constellation Chrono Diver is $450, and it's also 15% off, and I'll leave that information in the description. So now I'm going to switch gears and introduce you to South Baltimore's upcoming release, their legacy. Think of it as a sneak peek. And here it is, and this will be available for pre-order in February, and this is in 40 millimeters, 48 from lug to lug, and it uses the same 20 millimeter lug strap width for either the bracelet uh, or, or the strap. So the Legacy, this is the automatic movement, and this one is what they call the MD-1 Maryland Assembled by Maryland Watch Works. That is being compared to the ETA 2824, and it's regulated to minus or plus 8 seconds a day, and it has 40 hours of power reserve. So this one, I believe, starts at 650. But I think to me, and I haven't seen it yet, but I think the star of the lineup is going to have to be the GMT because that one uses a, the legendary, I should say, and really terrific movement. It uses the Swiss Soprod C125 automatic movement. And both models uh, of this is going to be available in steel and bronze. And they have a really a lot of colors. This is in the Fume Green, and there I think is a nice, really nice capture of it. But it's also going to be available in, I believe, a like a gray, a blue fume and maybe i think and a purple what they call raven purple raven if you're a football fan you'll understand that reference to the baltimore raven so this is a very stunning looking dial a nice actually sandwich dial so this is going to be available for pre-order in february starting at 650 dollars. so uh if if you're looking forward to the legacy with an automatic movement i think uh south baltimore just might have you covered this is really quite quite attractive here. Uh, I, I, I really like this. I like the, the dual uh, crowns here for the super compressor. So it's, again, this is going to be available as is or with a GMT function. The Legacy will also include this orange leather watch roll. So if we want to take a look at what it looks like inside, there it is for holding three watches. So a really nice package for the Legacy and I'm looking forward to it. And I think either uh, of these options, it's going to be a great consideration for us. Quite a nice trio for us to consider. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next time. So let's go check out some. So let's go check out some panda goodness.